Welcome. I am Metcalf House. I invite you into my world, my life, my journey, my glory, my pride. I have been around for years, nay, decades. I came into being in 1835 to house the British resident in the Imperial Court of the Mughal Emperor. I have been a witness to the First War of Independence in 1857. And the emergence of independent India thereafter in 1947. I have the honor to host the IAS Academy and several other government agencies. One such landmark agency was the Defense Research and Development Organization. The DRDO, which was established in the year 1958. DRDO is a singularly glorious chapter in my grand story. Today, half a century has passed by. And yet, to me, it seems like only yesterday. Over the decades, I've always marveled at the sheer dedication of the organization's leading lights, admiring the drive of its scientists, rejoicing its triumphs and successes. In these 50 years, DRDO has truly emerged as a premier organization. Crowned as one driven by the force of technology. It is a tribute to the vision of the architect of modern India and its first Prime Minister, Sri Jawaharlal Nehru, and the missionary zeal of the then Defence Minister, Sri V.K. Krishna Menon, that DRDO came into existence. To quote Nehru, it is ultimately technology that provides the basis for advancement of the country. Unless there is progress in the technological field, the country will have to depend on advice and equipment from foreign countries, which are not always ready or willing to give them. Dr. D. S. Gothari, a physicist of repute, was chosen to head the newly formed DRDO, assigned to function as designers and developers of equipment and systems to meet tri-service requirements. Ably assisted by Major General B. D. Kapoor, DRDO's first chief controller. Dr. Kothari effected the merger of the erstwhile technical development establishments and the defense science organization. The outcome was the first 10 laboratories which came into being. These in the present avatar are Professor S. Bhagwantham, another eminent physicist and the then director of IISC Bangalore, took over in July 1961. Equipment-oriented laboratories started veering around to the need for taking up applied research projects even before formulation of QRs by the services, largely due to Dr. Bhagwantham's efforts. Eleven new laboratories got established in 1961. And by 1962, six more got established. And strengthening of activities in electronics, missiles, rockets, aeronautics and naval R&D, initialized then, paid rich dividends decades later. Some of the prominent products developed during the 60s were Dr. B. D. Nag Chaudhary, a nuclear physicist who was member science of the Planning Commission, took charge of the DRDO on the 1st of July 1970. He laid emphasis on building competence in four technology areas, aeronautics, missiles, electronics, submarine technology. 
by persuading the Ministry of Defense to agree to DRDO's new role, the organization moved away from import substitution to technology development and contemporary military systems design. Professor M.G.K. Menem, an eminent physicist, took over from Dr. Nag Chaudhry in August 1974. He focused his attention towards high technology projects dealing with the development of weapon system hardware. It was in the 1970s that DRDO got recognized as a scientific department and DRDO's budget was more than doubled from 17 crores to 40 crore rupees in five years. Dr. Raja Ramanna, who took over as the scientific advisor in July 1978, was able to get the Department of Defense Research and Development created in the MOD. He urged laboratories to take up technologically challenging projects, such as development of sonar systems and pilotless target aircraft. He fostered the concept of laboratory complexes to ensure optimum use of the facilities. During the 70s, several important products were developed and inducted into operational use by the services. Dr. V.S. Arunachalam took over from Dr. Raja Ramana in 1982. He is hailed as a visionary and the architect of major defense R&D programs. Development of LCA and MBT were given the desired thrust under his stewardship. IGMDP and Electronic Warfare Systems Development Program commenced. To give an impetus to major programs, Dr. Arunachalam brought to DRDO stalwarts like Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam for the Guided Missile Program, Professor P. Rama Rao for Metallurgy, Sri Krishna Murthy Santanam for Special and Strategic Programs, and Dr. Kota Hari Narayana for the LCA Program. The first historic flight of Agni took place in 1989. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, a manager par excellence, succeeded Dr. Arunachalam in 1992. He led the IGMDP effort from the front, facing all odds, and came out a winner. As the head of DRDO, he gave to DRDO its vision and mission statements. In addition to getting the DRTC scheme implemented, he took up several societal missions, as his motto has always been, Quote, let me use my brain to ease your pain. Conferred with the highest national award, the Bharat Ratna, Dr. Kalam also supported the strategic projects then under progress. The testing of nuclear devices at Pokhran during 11th to the 13th of May 1998 made the world sit up and take note of emerging India ready with its strategic deterrence. Hailing the achievement, the then Prime Minister Sri Atal Bihari Vajpayee gave to India the slogan Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan, or Jai Vikyan. The 1990s saw a major thrust on the infrastructure growth in DRDO. Thanks to the positive and unstinted support of the chief controllers like Sri K. N. Singh and the financial advisors. Dr. V. K. Arthre, who took over from Dr. Kalam in 1999, brought about a sea change in the most vital resource of DRDO, the human resource. In addition to getting a deemed university status for IAT, he put the HR policies on a strong footing. More importantly, bridges were built with the armed forces, an essential requirement which was given a further boost by Sri M. Natarajan, who took over from Dr. Atre in 2004. A Chief Controller for Services Interaction has been appointed. The architect of main battle tank Arjun has brought in corporate culture in DRDO, with business plans and deliver as promised being the watchwords. Centers for Excellence have been established with the academia Industry interaction has been strengthened in good measure. 
Many national leaders have visited our laboratories and establishments through these decades, evincing interest in our activities. We have been greatly benefited by their constant guidance and encouragement. Significant contributions made by several scientists and technologists of DRDO have been amply recognized and national awards have been conferred on many of them.